Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Now, this tutorial is going to be on decals and a little bit of how they work. What are decals would be some of yours first question and the others would be, oh yeah, I've heard of those but I don't really know what they are and then some of you might be like, uh, BB, stop with the easy stuff, I want to get to scripting. Well, for all of you, hopefully this is satisfactory. Um, Except for you third group of people. I promise. I will get the scripting soon. Uh, the scripting... But I want to make sure you guys all know everything there is to know about Roblox game development. That's why it's not my Roblox scripting series. It is my Roblox game development series. So, what are decals? Let me just answer that first. Well, a lot of you have probably been to Roblox games before and seen one. It's a nice picture on a brick, and that picture will, uh, you might think, oh, how did they build that? Well, they didn't build that picture, most likely. Some cases, maybe. But if they did, it would look very pixely, it'd probably look 8-bit, and it wouldn't be that nice. But if you make a decal, it'll look just like the picture, except maybe a bit distorted due to size. Now, then, I've actually answered a couple questions, so let's just move on. Go up here, and to get a decal, sometimes it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, guys, I'm just going to cut out this part of the video, and now I'm going to keep going until I get a decal to work for me. Actually, no, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to insert this badge. I'm not going to explain too much about badges yet. I'm going to insert this badge, which is a model I made for my game Slendy, which is... I, it's in beta, but I'm not really updating it right now. <sighs> uh, I'm going to click it. It'll get inserted to my workspace. And now I can get this decal off of the front of it. By the way, that is a decal, people. That circle. So I'm. how do I get the decal off of it? Well, there's a couple ways. I'm going to show you two yet again. See, I, I always show you guys two ways to do stuff. So the first way is go in here go to the platform here's the decal it's just another thing in the workspace and you have to find it and it takes a lot of work and it has a list of properties and they make no sense blah 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 I'm not gonna do that to you guys okay I'm gonna go actually I will sometimes but I'm gonna show you guys an easier way just click the brick or the model anything and then click the decal. Once you already have whatever it's in selected, click it again. Just double click right on the decal if you don't have anything selected. Like I have nothing selected right now. Double click it. You've selected the decal because you see that orange line around it. That means the decal is selected. Copy it. And we can just delete the whole model. And now click Control V and you have this little like Mona Lisa head picture on a stamp. Uh, in front of your cursor. Well, that's your decal, and you just hover, and you find it, and as you can see, it will preview what it will look like, and you just put it wherever you like. In order to actually put it on something, you just click, and then you see your cursor is back to normal. Now, one thing you guys will notice is that the decal resizes to fit its canvas. It doesn't stay the same resolution. So sometimes you have to make a decal in whatever paint editor you're using, which I do have a series on paint.net. I don't, don't know if I'll continue that too much. I, I probably will. Anyway, um, you make your decal, and there you, you want to fit it to the size of brick you're going to be putting it on so that it doesn't get distorted by a change in resolution or height-width ratio. I don't know what else to say to explain this. Um, one more thing, I'll just go over a couple of the properties of a decal. I won't go too in depth, but you know, I actually know I won't. That uh, that's too much. Uh, this tutorial is probably long as it is. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button, corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys later.